Hey, here's a brief walkthrough showing you how to record a screencast using Crankwheel uh, with or without a uh, screen sharing viewer connected and how you can share a screencast that you've recorded in a number of different ways. So first of all, I start sharing my, uh, my webcam or whatever I want to share. And uh, I can start recording immediately or I can start recording after a viewer has connected. In this case, let's let's pretend there's a there's a viewer getting connected here, and now the viewer can see me. You can see in the little preview pane here the view that the viewer has. Right now, I have my webcam blurred. I can I can turn that on or off. Uh, if I leave it blurred and I start sharing my full screen, then what you'll see it's a little hard to see in the preview. We'll see it better once the video is played back. Is that the background is removed and you can see the screen share through the background. Now at any point when you want to start recording, you can click this button. So now I'm recording the session and we'll just make a very brief recording and, and then uh, see what we can do with it. At any point while I'm recording, I can pause the recording by clicking there again, do something else in the screen share and then continue recording by clicking here again. So if there's a part of your screen sharing meeting that you don't want to have end up in the recording, you can you can handle it that way. Once you're ready to complete the recording and finish your, your meeting, you click the stop button. And if you were recording, it's going to show you a preview here. You can immediately give your recording a name. So we'll call this one a demonstration recording. And you'll see that it takes a few seconds to upload the recording to the server and then process it on the server, which, which can take anywhere from a few seconds to, to uh, some minutes, depending on how long your recording is and, and how busy the uh, processing server is. Now, we'll note a few things here. Uh, I can allow video sharing for myself of this video. I can allow it to be used in projector for my company, which we'll take a look at later. And I can allow anybody in the, this company account to share the video. So let's allow all of those for now. And you'll see it's been processed, so I can reload the page. I can see a preview of the video right here. And you can see with the webcam how the background removal works, is that I'm here in the foreground, my background is removed, so we can use that real estate to show a part of the screen share through it. So that, that's quite convenient. Now, videos that you've recorded will show up here under videos. And here's the one we just did. And you can download the video file here. You can share it here. You can either grab a link and just share that as a link, or you can grab this kind of email template. If you copy that and paste it into an email, you'll see that it's a little, it has this little uh, animated preview. And that animated preview will be shown uh, on the recipient's side when they receive an email like that. Now, let's look at just what the recipient receives what it looks like if you share a link or if they click the link on the preview. That's what the page looks like. You can turn off this part if you don't want your name and email to be shown. You get a video player and uh, you are able to track um, their views. So if you click here, you, I can see that there's been one view a few seconds ago and didn't really play any of the video. But this will actually update uh, every 15 seconds or so and show you the percent of attention held for anybody that did play the video. You can also create more so-called segments if you want to track different uh, parts of your of the people that you're you're sending links to. So you can generate a share link for each different segment. That's that's more advanced functionality. So that's how you would share it, uh, a recording by email. Uh, you can also share a recording uh, to a viewer in a in a screen sharing session we'll just take a very brief look at what that looks like so let's say i i have a viewer connecting here and i'm going to do it on the same screen a little bit confusing but this is the viewer experience and because i chose to make that video available as a projector video i can show it in session so let's find that Oh, let's, let's share this video here, share your screen to a Tesla. So on the viewer end, they'll be asked to click, and this is done so that we can play audio when the video plays. And the video will start playing automatically.
video, you can pause it, you can keep playing it, you can stop it prematurely and so on. So that's how you can share a video within a screen sharing session and that happens in full quality. So that's it for the brief overview of how to create uh, screencasts in Crankwheel and how to share them by email and uh, in session. Thank you.